Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. This is the channel that holds the largest collection of facts about every country, state or territory in the world. Before we begin, I ask you to click the subscribe button. I upload 3 times a week, every week, so there's plenty of content. As the name suggests, French Polynesia is a part of France. It is an overseas collectivity of the Republic, with the additional designation as an overseas country inside the Republic. They even have their own president and a high degree of autonomy. For most people, French Polynesia equals Tahiti, but that's far from being true. It's actually made up of 118 islands, spread over an area of over 4,000 square kilometers right in the middle of the South Pacific. French Polynesia was one of the last places on Earth to be settled by humans. Historians believe that the Great Polynesian Migration happened around 1500 BC as Austronesian people went on journeys to find islands in the South Pacific. The first islands of French Polynesia to be settled were the Marquesas Islands at around 200 BC. Following the Great Polynesian Migration, European explorers visited the islands on several occasions. In 1842, the French took the islands and established a French protectorate they called the French Establishments in Oceania. In 1946, these settlements became an overseas territory under the constitution of the French Fourth Republic and Polynesians were granted the right to vote through citizenship. In 1957, they were renamed French Polynesia and in 2003, they became an overseas collectivity. Located on Tahiti Island, Papeete is the capital of French Polynesia. Over half of the territory's entire population lives in and around the capital city. In all, 68% of all French Polynesians live on Tahiti Island. Ironically, the growth of Papeete was boosted by the decision to move the nuclear weapon test range from Algeria to the atolls of Mururoa and Fangataufa, some 1500 kilometers east of Tahiti. This led to, among other things, the construction of the country's only international airport. However, these tests led to rioting in the streets and worldwide outrage, so the tests stopped in 1996. Papiri today is the gateway to French Polynesia, so if you're fortunate enough to visit the country, this city will likely be your first contact. Have you ever longed for a black pearl? Do you know where they're coming from? The beautiful black pearls are indigenous only to the Tuamorus archipelago, a chain of almost 80 islands. This is of course French Polynesia's largest export, 55% of all the goods shipped out. And of course, this is the country where you'll find the only pearl museum in the world, the Robert Wan Pearl Museum in Papeete. The museum recounts at the same time the history of the pearl throughout the world, the fascination it aroused to important people, the legends, the habits and the technical sides of pearl farming. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but French Polynesian islands are picture perfect. Aside from Tahiti, there are countless other islands that welcome tourists all year round. Bora Bora, for instance, is here, and Motu Tapu, which is said to be the most photographed island in the South Pacific. Surrounded by pristine white sands and the turquoise lagoon, it was once a private retreat for the Polynesian queen Pomare IV. Another island, Rayatea, is famous for a great invention, the overwater bungalows, which were created because the island had no beaches, so some hotel owners came up with the idea to build bungalows directly on the reefs. In any case, if you can afford the long trip to any part of French Polynesia, it's pretty much guaranteed that you'll have no regrets. The Tahitian alphabet has all of the same vowels as the Latin alphabet, but only 9 consonants. 
F H M N P R T V and a glottal stop. Until the early 19th century, Tahitian was a purely oral language. A Tahitian spelling system using the Latin alphabet was developed by John Davis, a Welsh historian and linguist, and proposed in 1805. Davis produced the first printed book in Tahitian in 1810. Most of the written material published since has been of a religious or educational nature. Tattooing is one of the longest cultural traditions of mankind, something humans have been practicing ever since the Neolithic. It wasn't invented in French Polynesia, and we will probably never know who, when or where came up with it. We do know that tattoos have been an integral part of Polynesian society for millennia, and they also gave us the word for it. The word in question is tatao or tatao, meaning to tap or mark something. It was brought to England from Captain Cook during his voyages from Tahiti, where he was introduced to tattoos. Most likely, the word tattoo was spawned from the sound of the tapping made by the primitive instrument while the images were being made on the skin. These were 7 facts about French Polynesia. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.